Dude, look at this thing. It is awesome. Wow, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Holy crud, that is so cool. What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D Mac, and welcome, welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. That's right, here on the Poop and Evolved Pugnacia server, baby! So excited doing flips, man, oh man. Guys, thank you for coming and hanging out. As you always do, please remember, show that amazing support. Slam that thumbs up button. That's right, and if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe for the daily ARC awesomeness. Man, and speaking of awesome i've got a lot of fun things for us to do today new things that we haven't tamed yet and just to review last episode we went and we got i think another nightmare pegasus we have to name for today three new baby amazing primeval dota wyverns super sweet we got a mating pair of our best uh, glacial gigas yet super sweet and we also got a whole bunch of dragons Yes, including another female dragon. Very nice, very nice. So we will likely continue with that shenanigans. However, today I'd like to get into some of the stuff that we have not tamed, the prodigious dinos. Yes, we've got all sorts of super cool uh, pug special modded creatures that I'd like to go out and tame today. Um, I think we're going to be heading under the ocean first. So let's let's continue on. Let's see what we can do for today. I think it should be pretty fun. Pretty fun indeed. All right, guys, here we are. We should find our first dude somewhere around here in the water. Ooh, there it is right there, right there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Can we get a clear shot at it? But bamley. All right. Hopefully that didn't kill it. Is it? Oh, oh, crap. Holy crap, dude, dude. Dude, get the crap out of here. Is that thing down too? Oh my goodness. All right, well, this is what I'm interested in. A trilobite. Yes, a prodigious trilobite. All right, golden tree. Awesome, and we got it tamed. Yeah, already. Look at how big this thing is. Look at it. Oh, that's so cool, and we can ride on it. I mean, come on now. A rideable trilobite, and this thing is wicked fast. It is super duper cool. I dig him. Does he have any attacks? Ooh, it did something. It shoots like a spore. Doesn't seem to be a right click. No jump. No C, no X. No roar on the trilobite. Come on, Mr. Fister. Now, the super cool ability that this guy has in particular is, look it. It can just climb on anything. Oh, my goodness. I hope it doesn't take much fall damage. Holy crud. What's going on? What's going on? Land down. Oh, this thing is so awesome. So super duper quick. Let's see what it does. Oh, let's see what it has for stats. First of all, wow, 17,300 health. That is absolutely nutballs. And I'm pretty sure trilobites have a pretty big resistance, even though we're not able to have a saddle on it. Over 6,000 stamina, weight 6,300, complete nutballs. I dig this guy and pretty insane movement speed already, 230. And this thing definitely hauls. Now, one of the warnings in the pug book is that this guy moves extra super quickly. So you got to be careful, like the speed boost. You got to be careful about how much it boosts in the speed because they're, they're supposed to be mammoth. So we'll find that out momentarily. Now, I believe it eats berries, believe it or not. I know. I didn't think that would be a thing either, but I'm pretty gosh darn sure. Let's just check it out. The food's down. Yeah. And look at that. It is actually eating berries. All right. Well, good to know. Good to know. Let's go. Let's see how much it hits for. Let's go to something small at first. How about you? That's actually not that bad. And you can you really can spam it, too. Wow. 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 What, what kind of Jerboa are you? Are you just a normal Jerboa? I mean, still a couple of hits to kill a Jerboa. My goodness, you are OP Jerboa. Yikes, and it is harvesting meats. Meats. All right, not bad, dude. How should we level this thing up? Let's try boosting speed just to see. So 230, it goes all the way to 280. All right, that's actually, let's just see. Yeah, that's that's tolerable, but look at that, how it just climbs on everything. I wish it would kind of fall quicker, though. Yo. Oh, and it's supposed to be able to change directions in the air, so let's actually... 
try that out. All right, so yeah, it can just spin around while it's in the air. Does it change the trajectory? No, it doesn't change the trajectory of it, but it, it's just good to know. Good to know. All right, going through. Can we go faster? I mean, this guy's need to be a speed demon. Let's go to 500. Let's see how that feels. Ooh, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Now, is it going to go up every single rock? Wow. It does get like hiccuped a little bit, but let's just see. Wow. I mean, look at this. Can it climb up the uh, the edge of the mountain? This is going to be something pretty cool. Can it get out of trouble? Oh, my goodness. Look at this. It, it can't. It has. a. Oh, no, it can kind of. It it's not like falling down. No, it kind of is falling down. That's a little too steep. I thought you're supposed to be able to go on everything, bro. Huh? Huh? What's going on with that? All right, let's see if it has fall damage at all. It's almost like it's floating in the air right now. That's craziness. Can I do my gun while on it? No, it's not letting me take out my gun. And it doesn't look like it took fall damage. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, all right, cool, cool. I think that is fast enough for us for now. Let's start to boost up some of its melee. Come here, bro. All right, up to almost 500. I mean, it, it definitely, look at that, 600. That guy, I guess, was mate boosted. That's not that bad. That seriously is not that bad at all, at all. And it just hauls. Go right past everything. Nobody's gonna stop us. That is so awesome. I totally dig this dude. Now, I wonder if I can pick him up and put him on my shoulder. Is this a thing? All right. Pickup matrix did work. Let's go ahead, do a little whistle passive unfollow. And pick up true bite on the shoulder. Dude, that is so cool. That is so incredibly cool and awesome. I dig it. I dig it. Oh, my goodness. Giga, get out of my way, please. All right, so we can just bring him right back to the base if we so chose. Why don't we get landed? Let's throw him back off. And I'd like to see what it's what it's like. What, can it actually be a decent attacker? I mean, uh oh, where the, shoot! Did it fall through the ground? Is that a thing? Did that just happen? All right, so tell him. Oh no, there it is, right there. What in the crap? It was like disappeared. Did I just not see it? Am I just blind like that? I don't even know, but we got it again. All right, we're golden. We're golden. So, yeah, let me see how we can level this dude up. All right, this thing is, it's super crazy. It's crazy, but, I mean, look at how it launches. It almost just, like, flies. It's super duper bizarre. Look at him. Look at his little thing. Look at her feet goes right through him. But, bammy, finally. Yeah, it really, I feel like it needs to um sort of, um, I don't know fall quicker not have as much of a launch to it because I mean watch this watch okay, Let's launch off here. What's gonna happen? Ooh, yep. There we go And then we're launched for God knows how long it just it launches for way too far of I don't know of an area maybe needs like a jump for when you do that But we're gonna make it all the way back to the base and we're hitting with only a few boosts into the attack already for uh for over a thousand so that's pretty cool it doesn't seem like it has the fall damage i haven't at least taken any yet all right let's get back up zoom Ooh, look at that that is super cool all right and back on the surface now it doesn't have anything else where it like could wander and like create something which i kind of feel like it should like it should make like pearls or something all right come on bro but anything like on the surface that gives a knockback or can hit me, it pretty much just launches me and there's nothing I can do about it. All right, come on, bro. And then I'm just stuck waiting, waiting. All right, so it's pretty cool. Um, Just for funsies, let's do a couple more boosts. Let's put it up to a thousand, just see what happens. All right, there we go. All right, bro, get, get rocked. I mean, we're hitting for decent amount. I'm kind of surprised this thing could be a decent powerhouse it might be able to get up to like i don't know close to ten thousand attack if we went all the way oh my goodness but this it just makes it almost unrideable that launch all right look at how fast this thing is all right come on turn 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 there we go and oh it gets stuck there in the rocks can't go upside down but then again i'm just launched so it, it's cool it's neat it's nifty i like it oh my goodness will you stop move 
See, I'm just stuck. I can't even move. All right, wait till we're at the bottom. Now we can go. Can you go up this? Yeah, and it does decent there. All right, and that's with no sprint. Yeah, it has a faster sprint too. Pretty crazy cool. I dig them. I'm so glad it didn't actually fall through the world and get lost. Anyway, I think that's that with the Trillabyte. And it's super pretty. Definitely. Look at that. It's almost like tie-dye. Very interesting crustaceanal. It's what is it? Like a bug? It's kind of like a bug. I don't know, but kind of like, I don't know, like a old school like lobster or shrimp. I don't know. It's nifty, though. I dig them. Anyway, speaking of lobster or shrimp or scorpion, I want to go for um, one of these other little scorpion dudes, erythropods or whatever the crap they're called. I found a couple of good ones that spawned in, so why don't we go head out. How you doing, guys? What's up? What's up, peanut? All right, little peanut. Let's go head out and, uh, yeah, see if we can get one tamed. All right, guys, here we are floating all alone in the ocean, and yes, there it is. See that little squiggle wiggle? This is what we want right here. Let's go ahead and get out a crossbow. Let's hope we can make some nice clean shots on it, because this guy, oh my goodness. I remember in the past, it was super hard to hit. We might have to get a little closer to it. Come here, squ look at him, the little squiggle wiggle turd nugget. And we got to be careful because he can definitely put immense torpor on us. Oh my goodness, his hitbox is so small. Oh my goodness, why are you so squiggle wiggly, bro? All right, we got him. We got him. It's a thing. Holy crap, there's a wyvern coming or something, I think. Oh, we got him. Beautiful, dude. We got you. We finally have our own little squiggle wiggle. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's put him on to passive. Let's tell him to unfollow. And we should be able to just mount. Nice. Dude, look at this thing. It is awesome. Wow, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was. All right, so left click. It's got that, like, clenching move. Right click. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. No C, no X. Okay. Now, cannot get out of the water. So it's just like any other aquatic creature, but it's pretty quick. It's definitely pretty quick. All right, come on. Let's see. Uh, oh, I should look at its stats first. 28,000. Okay, and this is an 840, by the way. Dude, it almost hits for 1,000 to boot. This thing is pretty powerful. We've got, of course, no saddle on. Is that doing tor... Oh, does not swim back. Oh, oh, that type of shark is not good. It is not good for us. Oh, my goodness. Yo. Health potion, go, 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 go. <laughs> it's going so slow because the sharks are pulling us in. Dude. All right, get the crap out of there. All right, you can see behind us. Look at them. They're all kind of like sucking us in. Ooh, get the crap out of town. This guy is ridiculous. All right, are they far enough away? Are they still following? I think we got a moment. Wow, so weight-wise, 8,000, 28,000 health, 7, almost 8,000 stain. This thing is a monster. Absolute monster, and it actually has a saddle slot. I wonder if that, uh, if anything can be put on it. I'll have to check the book. It might just have one and not really matter. Let's stay away from those sharks. Oh, my goodness, but it is, it's quite quick. It is quite quick. Um, we definitely, I think it could be a pretty decent attacker. I want to find something small so we can actually see how much torpor it does. Because it's supposed to be pretty immense. And I'll tell you, that speed is just fine for the level. Alright, um, let's go over to this dude right here. Let's give him a little... a little. Ooh, he, he bites me back too? We definitely got a hit in there. Let's just see what his sitch is. Dude, it did like no torpor there. So does that mean maybe it's a, a different click? All right, right click's doing nothing. Left click, no, you can see the torpor going. It's just not all that much. The damage is way higher. That's pretty crazy. I thought it was going to do way more torpor than that. Let's get this guy killed. And, uh, yeah, let's start to level up in that attack. Ooh, we already got 56 points in attack. That is cool. All right, let's get it all pumped up. All right, and bam, bam. So decent amount of level up, so we already got into attack. Let's see what it hits for now. 
Come here, bro. 6,000. That's actually reasonable. That is very reasonable. All right. As far as other um, things, I mean, the weight is killer. It seems like it does eat the fish. So that's cool. Oh, my goodness. But it definitely wrecks. It wrecks a lot of face. This thing is pretty cool. Ooh, look at this little angler. So little hit on the angler. Let's see how much torpor that's actually doing now. See, it's very minimal. I don't know if there's another uh, button to press to do a higher torpor hit, but here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's also see if we can do the pickup matrix on this dude. Pickup. Awesome. Dude, look at him on our shoulder. Look at this guy on our shoulder. He's awesome looking. Holy crud, that is so cool. I definitely wish it did more torpor, though. All right, um, Griffin. Come here, Griffin. All right, we should be safe. Let's go have a peek see at the book, what it says about this dude. All right, all right. Here we go, and yeah, right there. All right, so rideable, lives underwater, great for afternoon strolls and long walks uh, next to on the beach. Cannot leave the water, we found that out, and hits pretty decently hard, which it does, and it says lots of torpor. I'm not seeing lots of torpor, so that's my only complaint, and it doesn't tell you that there's a separate button to do the torpor. So, interesting, nonetheless, definitely interesting. All right, guys, almost back to the water pen, but just trying to get him the max attack, and I have to say, this guy is crazy strong um we're about to hit what 210 208 look at how hard he hits now let's go ahead on one of these big fish can we get to 20 000 from this little tiny dude it is nut balls so i mean we still got another 50 levels to go he might even hit for like 25 30 by the time we're done we're worried about megalodons before dude we completely rock all the Megalodons, and I haven't even pumped into my health yet. This thing is amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm still not sure, though, about the whole Torpor situation. I still feel like it doesn't do nearly enough. Let's see if we can actually find something we won't kill in one hit. Let's see. Let's see. We got a whole bunch more levels. Ooh, I'm not taking on the Kraken. No, sorry, Bob. All right. We up to one th 233. Let's see about a Dunka. What about you, Dunka? All right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He hits me hard, too. All right, what's your deal, bro? What is your deal? Yeah, see? Not nearly, nearly as much. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, ooh, that guy hits me hard. Redunkiously hard. Do you think we can kill a Dunka? The problem with the Dunkas is they resist so much. Oh, and we got it. We got it. We are golden. This thing is quite the harvester. It's too bad it doesn't work outside the water, but dude, I totally dig this dude. I like him very much. Way better than that Trillabite. So we should be at max attack now after all this shenanigans. Let's see here. 40, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. All right, let's see what the max attack hit is. 6, 24. Oh. Oh, 24,000. Crazy down. So very good. Oh, man, I dig it. And I, I think the speed is fine. I mean, we could go a little up, but I really don't need that much. Oh, and once we have that killer baller health, we won't have to worry about getting hit nearly as much. And look at that. The health regen is like instant. It's beautiful. Oh, very cool and very good weight, too. All right, come here. Let's get another prime dunka. Come here, bro. Come here. Get chomped. Oh, man. Let's get him. All right, you peeved at me now? All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Man, he resists the crap out of us. But, dude, we're taking those hits so much better now. And we racked him. Man, so awesome. All right, another cool guy that I just never really paid attention to. But would have been a really good early game mount. Definitely for under the water. It's so funny. Look at his back legs. It's got kind of like little flipper things, little fins. That is so cool. Definitely. It reminds me of a lobster, for sure. All right. So anyway, let's bring him back to the base. We might have passed it. I think we did. No, no. It's a little further down. Let's get him in. Oh, man. That is just so cool. I love this guy. Look at that. Beagle. He's like, give me a hug. 
Give me a hug. All right, let's bring him in. Tech gates. Kabam. And meet all your little friends. Bloodbath, bloodlust. Awesome. Let's bring him up by the Duncan, everybody. Come here, Manta. Awesome. You can be friends with Peanut. Nice. All right, and let's put this guy onto neutral. Behavior, stance, neutral. Awesome. It's a thing. It is a thing. All right, final guy for today. Let's go head out. All right, guys, and here is probably going to be our final time for today. 840 Otter. Super duper cool. Now, I've never actually tamed one of these before. For realsies, I'm, I'm an otter noob. Otter noob. So apparently to get them, I got to kill a fish and then drag, I guess, drag the fish to them. All right, let's try this. All right, can, can I kill the fish, please? All right, drag body. All right, all right, let's bring it over to him. Come here, little otter dude. Little otter dude. Now, do I release the botter? All right, I think I release it. Oh, are you kidding me? The dumb piranha ate it. That was for my otter, dude. That was for my, oh my goodness, look at all those leeches. Look at all those leeches. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Go away, did I kill all the leeches in one hit? Are you serious, I'm that strong? My goodness, all right, so drag body. Bring it up to him. I got the body, right? Am I drag, oh my goodness, where'd my body? Drag body. All right, do I let go of the body? Come here, bro, buddy bro. All right, I guess I release it. And then what, back off? Oh, I just don't know. All right, drag body. Let's go right up to it. Oh, feed fish, feed fish. Did I do it? All right, is he is he partially tamed? Oh, it's almost done. All right, we need one more fish. Come here. Is that a fish? All right, drag body. Let's go back up to him. Ooh, I hope I didn't punch him. Did I, did I do it? All right, still taming. Crap, we need another fish. Need another fish. All right, you you will do just fine. Come here. All right. Drag, bo drag body, I said. All right, it's coming, it's coming. And, ooh. Am I still dragging it? Come here, buddy, bro. Aren't you hungry? Oh, my goodness. Come here. Come here. Oh, man, I can't get him to say it. Come here. There we go! Awesome, that's my first otter tame ever. Sorry if it was a little derpy. I warned you, I'm an otter noob. Oh man, this thing is so cool! Look at him! Dude, it's like a little weasel. It totally is like a little weasel. Or otters in the weasel family, I just don't know. All right, what's this guy do? He's got an attack. Oh, that's so cute. Let's look at him. Oh, did you see that bite? He goes, I'm a roughy toughy. Look at me. Look at me. Oh, that's so cool. Is there a right click? Oh, and he shows us his little precious pearl. He's like, look at this. Oh, you're so cool, little otter. I dig him. I dig him. All right, what do the stats look like? All right, so we're at 12,000 health. So kind of low on that health. Still, I mean, decent. But, I mean, compared to the other dudes, good carry weight. All right, that melee damage is over 2,000%. Let's go see what that actually means. What does this actually mean when I bite something? Is there anything I can bite? All right, here's a little fishies. Oh, leeches. Come here. Little fishy. Little. Oh, my goodness. It kind of has a backwards swim a little bit. Ooh, it is fast in the water. It's almost hard to control. Seriously. Come here. Come here. Give me a. Oh, man. I just want to bite your face off. Is that too much to ask, fishy? All right, let's try the piranhas. They might be a little bit easier because they'll actually come up to me. Oh my goodness. All right. 672. That's not horrible. That is not a horrible attack. All right. Come here. Come here. Awesome. And ooh, look at that. It's getting silica pearls from eating them. That is super cool. Come here, bro. All right. All right. Just stand still. I'll back up and I'll eat your. Oh my goodness. Stop biting my butt, bro. Stop a bite in my butt. All right, awesome. So we get pearls from eating the fish. I dig it. All right, do we have a jump at all? 
Oh, dude, he actually jumps pretty high. That's not bad. Oh, that was that why was I in K mode? All right, there we go. Oh, you're so slow now. Why are you so slow, bro? All right. Ooh, look at that jump. 800 that is not bad i i it's kind of fun it's just kind of unfortunate that it's not faster on land because it is so wicked fast in the water oh my goodness all right we need to level this up battle otter bro battle otter all right guys making my way home with the otter it's a little annoying i'm not sure why it's like this if all otters are like this but look at this if i take the hideout i can't put it back inside of them so it's it's kind of annoying i can't put inventory inside of them i don't know what his deal is why he does that it's got to be an otter thing gotta be an otter thing but um yeah he's a decent attacker if it wasn't for the inventory though but i can't pick him up and i know normal otters are supposed to go on your shoulders so i feel like this guy should be able to go on your shoulders too but apparently not apparently not but man he definitely needs some speed holy crap holy crap we need to get out of here that is not a good scenario for you holy crud we got hippos up the wazoo dude look at it's a yellow spino what are you doing down here yellow spino that's not a primal one is it all right we should be able to kill a spino come here bro get rocked oh man yellow spino it's beautiful i've never seen a yellow one before Oh, so very cool. So this also means, ooh, and a purple Spino? What the crap? What the crap? You guys come in purple too? My goodness, my goodness. So yeah, I get his normal ability is just to make the silica pearls when he eats fish. So he's probably good to put on attacking um, just like, you know, around your base or whatever. How about a jug bug? Just give me pearls for that. What about a leech? What about a leech? Come here, leech. Oh, get rocked beautiful thing but it's cool i think we could use some more speed Ooh, those are big speed boosts all right what's that holy crap look at him now look at him do that little frolics look at that attack jump he's like Rawr! oh it's pretty nifty pretty nifty indeed oh he's just so adorable though and he can attack while he's jumping in the air that's kind of cool too Anyway, making my way home, I would have flown him home. I suppose we could always do a grapple hook and carry him. That probably could be a thing, but it's just as good. Ooh, ooh, oh crap, that's a primal one. Get the crap out of town, bro. Run. Yep, that was a primal one. All right, bringing him home, bringing him back to the base with all the other friends. All right, guys, the long journey is almost complete. We're almost home. We're also almost max attack. I'm getting so close to it. This guy, though, he really can hold his own. I mean, it's insane. It is really way more than I had expected. It's kind of interesting, too. It seems like it disintegrates the food and harvests it pretty much immediately upon the kill. Let's actually try this out again. All right, so one hit. All right. All right, that was the kill shot, and yeah, on the kill shot, it immediately, like, dissolves the uh, the creature. Holy crap, holy crap, that thing's strong. What in the crap? That almost took us out in one bite. It does not have the highest health, but its other stats are pretty BA. Seriously, I dig you, bro. I totally dig you. Show me, show me your, it must be the treasure. Oh, it's the treasure. Oh, it's totally the treasure. It's so cute. I love that. All right, let's see how we're doing. Another 25 levels. Yeah, look at that. Not bad. Now, it seems like it only eats feet. Uh, feet. <laughs> fish. What was I thinking? So, it will eat the prime fish, and it will eat the normal fish as well. But pretty much everything else is just garbage. So, let's go ahead and dump out all that hide. The weight... Because the weight is decent, but, you know, we got we to gotta watch ourselves a little bit. I probably could. You know, I'm going to turn off harvesting on him. Come here, bro. Harvest settings disabled. Now we don't have to worry about that weight as much. Not nearly as much. All right, I'll stay away from you, bro. I don't want to get stunned. Anyway, we are approaching. We live right by that tower. Let's see if we can get some bigger land kills. I'd like to see what its max attack for a perfect 840 is. I mean, look at that. 18,000 already. 
So it's gonna be over 20. That is for sure. That is for dang sure. Look at that, taking on Brontos. Oh, you're so awesome, bro. It's it's your treasure. Yep, that, that's what it was. All right, only seven levels from that. Are you kidding me? Give me more, bro. We're almost there. We're so close. We are so close. All right, should we go into the oceans? Should we do it there? Because I really need to start to work on his health. Just a tad. It's, it's a little problematic. Ugh, I don't want to get stung by you. All right, come here, fishies. Oh, get those silica pearls. That is cool, too. It still collects the silica pearls from fish, even when the harvesting is off. So, definitely a cool feature and definitely a reason to turn off harvesting. Ooh, a kraken. Go away from the kraken. All right, come on, bro. All right, and finally, finally, the max attack. Let's get the boosts. One, two, three, four, and five. I love it absolutely love it now, i'm curious about this helmet can we put it might be only vanilla helmets oh no you can see it's got the helmet slot open but it's not allowing me to put a helmet on so i don't know if it's that type of helmet it would be nice to have an unbreakable one on them but look at that twenty-one thousand crazy town again way more powerful than i ever would have expected oh you are a total battle otter so cool. We'll have to get him a little beaver friend. I don't think we have any type of modded beavers. Modded beaver would be cool. But, I mean, hey, beavers are cool in general. Gotta love the beaver. Need the beaver king. All right. So, anyway, let's get him home. We can just dump all the rest of the levels into his health. Because he definitely needs it. Um, Everything else seems to be suitable. And I'm at, what, 500 movement speed. That It seems like a pretty good speed for him. Definitely, definitely. If we can get that. Oh, man. If, I should try another helmet. Let me see if a vanilla helmet will go on him. This, this will make a world of difference. All right, guys. Back at the base. And you know what? Oh, are you happy about that? Look at that smile. Look at that grin. Oh, he's so happy about that. To be back at the base. All right. So, a couple other things. He has food issues definitely as I'm leveling them up and I was trying to put in baby food of course I can't put in the carnivore food which stinks I also can't put a helmet on him so I don't know what's up with this dude this lady lady dude all right all right come on but it certainly is an awesome mount with, with exception of can't put items on him that's the only thing that stinks now it also occurred to me I probably could have picked this guy up and flown home I mean it was fun to level them but let's just see let's make sure oh yeah I can all right definitely the best means of travel so I think we did pretty well today I, I love our little otter where's the trilobite I put him right over here somewhere yep there it is there it is say hello to your little trilobite friend all right get landed awesome 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 I dig him I dig them, our little buddies for today. So very cool. All right, so I think it is time to go name the creatures, the dinos that we got last time. We got a whole bunch of them. We've got all the wyverns, our two gigas, our three dodo wyverns, and two dragons. So let me go through the comments and find out. All right, guys, I just finished going through all the comments and thank you all so very much for helping out with the names. For those of you that do not know, at the end of every single episode, we name all the dinos that we caught in the previous episode. All you got to do is be a subscriber if you want to get chosen, help suggest in a name anyway, without any further ado. We have Angel for Super Amazing Nightmare Pegasus. Totally fitting name. Love it. Let's go down now to our wyverns. We have the four fire wyverns. We have Snap. We have Blaze. We have Fire Blast. And we have Stinger. All awesome names for the fire wyverns. Let's go through the next ones. Dodo wyverns. We have Wiggle Wiggle for one of them. We have Sparky. Very cool. And we have Afterburn. Totally love it. We have for the Gigas. Where were your names? We have Ice Claw and Ice Fang. Totally awesome for Glacial Gigas. Sweet names. And then for our dragons, we have Ashwing and Heat Blast. Totally awesome, guys. Very cool. Anyway, on that note, little thing to talk to you guys about. 
Pug is probably going to be ending soon. I may have another episode of it, maybe even two, but this also possibly could be our last episode. I just don't know. Either way, you can help name out the three dinos in case, in case we have another one after this. But what I've been asking in my other Extinction Core series, and I want you guys to get in on it too, if I start a new server, a new modded server, um, would you like me to play Anunnaki Genesis Extinction Core, or we could go on to the server with all the other other poop and evolved peeps playing the, the oh, I forget the dang name of it, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Play the, uh, I think it's Transformation. Transformation. So let me know in the comments below what you would prefer to see. But I've had a blast on Pug this season. It's oh so much fun, and the mod is really coming along as always. Mr. Fister still, Mr. Fister, one one of the best mod authors out there. Absolutely awesome guy. And I hope you've enjoyed this series. Anyway, guys, on that note, as always, please remember. Show that amazing support for the series and for the episode by slamming that thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, peace out.